morning, good morning, good morning. Apostle Janet here on this Sunday morning. Blessings to you as you join us this morning. We are so excited to have you on this live broadcast with us right here on this Sunday morning. God is so good. Hey, no doubt about that. And I am so happy to be a part of all he's doing in the earth. Amen. Come on in, everybody. I want to welcome all of our platforms this morning uh, from uh, YouTube to Facebook to Instagram and Dominion TV this morning streaming live for us out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I do apologize. We had a bit of a technical delay. It was beyond my control, but praise the Lord, it got uh, situated and here we are and we are just so blessed and honored to be on with you this morning. All right. I know those notifications are going out. Good morning, Miss Penny. Good to see you. I think you're the first one I see a comment from this morning. So blessings to you as you join us and everyone. I see Instagram coming and amen so yeah i know everybody will be up and at it and on it here in just a moment as you come in please drop me a greeting this morning say hello let me know where you're watching from this morning if you're new to watching us i would sure love to get to know you a little bit better amen good morning angela seeing you over there on instagram so blessings to everybody there y'all are hallelujah i know it takes a moment for those notifications to go out and the word to get out so people can click on with us but always know that we're going to be here within that time frame typically would have already been rolling right on the dot at 8 30 or maybe a moment before but i was having some technical delays over here that i i had no power over okay so i just had to let it do its thing and get this thing i guess that uh that wi-fi must not have i don't know internet wasn't wanting to wake up i don't know what it was over here but either way we got it we're excited to be on with you all i do want to uh, say a great big thank you to apostle dutton and uh dr lynette all of the dominion tv team over there in Myrtle beach south carolina thank you all for um Thank you all for streaming us live every Sunday. Uh, I mean, this is, you know, totally unedited, uncensored, the whole nine yards. And what a blessing that is to be streamed live to over there to over 170 nations. The, the probability of the amount of people that we reach between all of these platforms is just innumerable. And so what a blessing that is. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I do want to uh, thank you, Miss Laurel. Uh, I actually saw it the other the day too um uh you know uh, and uh i was like okay yeah i like that <laughs> i was going i was like well girl you did good right <laughs> amen so what a blessing dominion tv is to us and we love all of you that are watching over on dominion tv this morning we're just so delighted that you are able to tune in and watch and be a part of what god is doing through um, Apostle, Prophet, Janet, German, and my daughter, Katie, who is not here with me today um, due to uh, competition uh, going on today with um, her daughter. And uh, we, we spent a good portion of the day into the night yesterday with them. But I'm here to do the work of the Lord this morning. Amen. And she'll be back on with me come tomorrow morning. You know, just as a reminder to everyone, we are on daily Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern time. So if there's ever a time you want to catch us, I know so many of you do. But those of you that maybe are streaming even live with us on Dominion TV, if you want to catch us at, uh, you know, in the early morning of the day, uh, we are on, uh, uh, you know, we're streamed on our pages. So you can go to our website. It has all that information over there at JanetGermanMinistries.com. So thank you all for joining us today and, and for every other day that you're able to join us and be a part of, uh, you know, what God is doing in the earth in, uh, you know, spreading the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. So, so, so blessed to be on with you guys this morning i got some things burning in my spirit but i want you to help me to get the word out by hitting those share buttons this morning make sure you hit the share button y'all it's a vast difference when you don't versus when you do okay or vice versa so i'm asking you please please hit those share buttons this morning sharing to your uh stories your pages your groups tag somebody's name this morning okay maybe there's somebody you you know that is typically on here or has never been on here and you want to share it with them and give them the invitation to come do so by tagging their name okay go ahead and tag their name and uh, when their name pops up you know you start typing it in and it pops up for you you can click on it it'll highlight it put in the comment sections for you and say you know there's a word from the lord for you today so come on in i believe you'll be blessed by this what you know just 
a brief invitation. It don't have to be long and drawn out, but just something to briefly get them over here. Amen. Well, I feel impressed of the Lord right in the middle of giving you these instructions. As uh, you know, I didn't know I was going to do this. And this is a verse that I give you guys quite often especially when I minister about Jubilee and stuff. But um, I, I know that I was, I was up in the early morning hours. I don't know. I think it was between um, 2 or 3 o'clock, something like that. It, it, I don't know. It was early hours. It was between 2, 3, 4 o'clock, something like that. And um, this is one of the verses that really came up strong in my spirit. This is not my foundational verse, but when I saw uh, the numbers pop up, I felt like the Holy Spirit quickened it back to my memory, made it come alive again. So I want to say this to you concerning, because every, I'm telling you, we're in such a strong prophetic month. And I want you to understand that uh, this month is a month of creative miracles. And, and uh, you know, we know it's about the open doors and the portals and the pockets and the heavens and the windows and all of that. But something in specific, I want God's people to know. And I'm even going to share the prophetic word that God has given me for this month because I would like for it to go streaming over Dominion TV because there's so many viewers over there that I believe this word, absolutely I believe it is for Apostle Dutt and his family and all of the team Dominion team over there, okay? Um, so I just believe this with every, you know, for that in entire ministry and for them personally and for their family but I just want this thing to, I want it to go worldwide I really do want it to go I want it to reach more than it's already reached okay so I want to give you this scripture because the Lord is moving on me to do this right now but it says this at the end of every seven years thou shalt make a release I know today is um April the 7th right isn't it April the 7th yeah, it's April the 7th, all right? And so it's 4-7-2024. And I'm just telling you this whole month, every day is so prophetic to our life. But I want you to understand some things that are going at the end of every seven years. One thing you need to recognize is that seven is a, uh, it is a, one of the perfected numbers or completion numbers. And so every number of God is. But I just want to, um, I want to give you just some little bit of background here on this, um, because, uh, glory to God, let, let me just get here. Let me just get here and just, just uh, let me uh, do this here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me just pull this up. I didn't know. See, I didn't know I was going to do this. Uh, so just give me a moment. We ain't got screen shout and holler and go like a machine gun every minute. So uh, let me do this. Let me just pull this up because... I believe the Holy Ghost is leading me this way, and I didn't know that I was going this way. But one of the things I want you to understand about the number seven is it is very symbolic of fullness or completion, okay? And so um, I want to get it to it here. Woohoo! Here we go. In the Grace and Torah, which is my favorite resource to go to for this, but you know, it may not be for everybody, but I believe these are really accurate here. Because this gives us the Hebrew meaning of these numbers, okay? So I want to get there real quick. You have to kind of scroll through it here a little bit, you know, because they have them uh, listed in particular number order. And so you have to kind of scroll down the page. But I want to give this to you, and then I want to read this verse that the Spirit just quickened in my heart. While I'm doing this, you guys just make sure that you are sharing, you are tagging, you are, uh, yeah, uh, direct message people from Instagram. Okay, here we go. Seven, all right? And I've, if, uh, you know, uh, I'm not real good at Hebrew pronunciations, but I'm going to do my best. Shva, Shva. All right. Uh, that's, I believe, in, in the feminine. And then Shiva in the masculine. Okay. Here's what it means. Rest, cessation from work, wholeness, completion, being ripe. It also has to do with order and stability and holiness. All right. And so I just want, you know, it is, uh, of course, it's direct reference to the finished work of Christ. Because we understand in six days, he uh, initiated and activated and manifested creation. He created the earth and put everything in place. But on that seventh day, he ceased from his labor of creation and he entered into rest or finished or completed work. And so I want you to understand Mm, this is so prophetic, y'all, that these open portals, open portals, open portals, 
you know, number four, open portals. It has to do with scheduling of time and creation. Um, I've talked about how that on the fourth day of creation, that how God divided, he set the sun in place by day, the moon by night, all of those things, setting the stars and all of these things. It was the right type of division, setting things in their distinct, unique position. Hallelujah. To bring, y'all better hear the Holy Ghost. To bring an order and a stability in the earth realm. Because prior to the creation of all these things, uh, you know, we know that the Holy, the Bible says in Genesis 1 that uh, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and it was void. It was empty. It was incomplete. It was not, it was not satisfied. It was not filled. It wasn't full. It wasn't complete. Okay, there were things that were missing that had to come into place and be spoken into existence. And the Bible says that the Holy Ghost was hovering or brooding, like fluttering over, just waiting, just waiting for God to speak, creator to speak. And when God would speak and say, let there be, then the Holy Spirit was loosed and turned loose and began to move upon the face of the waters, the face of the deep, the face of the, you know, of everything. Uh, the, the Spirit of the Lord began to move and bring these things into existence, okay? Hallelujah. All right? And they moved at the word of the Lord. The Holy Spirit moved at the word of the Lord. How, why does the Holy Ghost move at the word of the Lord? Because the Holy Ghost is the one who knows the mind and the will of the Creator. He knows the mind and the will of the Lord. He knows it. So when you and I, because like God breathed into the first man, Adam, come on, all right? He's breathing into us also through the last Adam, which is Christ the anointed one and his anointed, and, and, and he breathed into the nostrils of man, and man became a living soul. But I'm just telling you, under this new and completed work of the Lord Jesus, the finished work of the Christ, the anointed one and his anointing, you and I have become a quickening spirit in the earth. We have been made alive to be the spokesmen's, the spokesmen's, the, the decreers and the creators in the earth today. And so I want you to understand what you're operating in. I want you to understand who you are in him and who he is in you. And it is in him that you live and move and have your being. Did everybody hit your share button? If you did not hit your share button right now, if you did not tag somebody's name, tag somebody's name now. I want y'all to hit those heart emoji, those wow emoji, those of you that are on YouTube, make sure that you're liking the video. Everybody begin to light up this room right now in these comments. Hallelujah. In these chat sections, I want you to go ahead and light it up in here with some responses this morning. Let's get some interaction going. I mean some powerful, powerful responses here. But in Deuteronomy 15 and 1 and 2, and at the end of every seven years, now what you need to know, it was not about the years. I know it was then in that time. But in this dispensation we are in, it is about the, the revelation of the prophetic and the apostolic, um, uh, you know, uh, well, it, yeah, the apostolic and prophetic revelation of what seven symbolizes and stands for, what four symbolizes and stands for, even what 2024 symbolizes and stands for in the realm of the spirit to us. This is not angel numbers. This is not just uh, some kind of natural, normal, fleshly, uh, new age numerology. It, numerology. That's not what we're talking about here. We are talking about what is the inner meaning? What is the spiritual meaning? What is go deeper into the realm of the spirit see beyond the number and see what it is that God is saying to us because it don't have to it could be seven seconds it could be seven mi minutes it could be seven days it could be seven years it could be seven decades it could be seven centuries that's not what it's about it's about what is the end result of this because he who declared the ending from the beginning mm, and the things from ancient past that have from ancient days that have not yet come to pass, he said, I will do all my pleasure. I will fulfill every bit of it. God, I will fulfill every bit of it. I need you to type that in the comments. God will fulfill every bit of it. Write it just like that. God will fulfill every bit of it. We are in 
a creative time. We are in a creative time for Kairos moments of fullness and completion of things in the natural as much as it already is done in the spiritual. Lord, I feel the power on me this morning. Oh, the word of his power. The word of, you know, the Bible says that um, he uh, set all things in place by the word of his power. Woo! He brought all things into existence, Angela, by the word of his power. God is fulfilling every single bit of it. Every minute little bit of it. God is fulfilling it. He, what's happening? He's making a release. God is making a release. Will somebody type that in after you type the other statement in? I mean, I want everybody to get on board this morning. God is making a release. God is making a release. God is. God is creator. Yahweh. Elohim. El Elyon. El Shaddai. God is making a release. This release is a full release. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, I feel the wheels turning in here inside of the wheel this morning. God is making a release. This release is a full release. This release is a complete release. This release is a jubilee release. Glory. Glory. Oh, while the world is preparing and religious people are preparing for a crash, for a crash, for a crash. Oh, that's not we're, what we're preparing for. No, 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 no. That's not the kind of end I'm preparing for. Oh, no, not a collapsing, not a crashing. Woo, not a coming into an end that it's all over and it's done. Ain't nothing we can do about it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm preparing for a new creation, a new heaven, a new earth, a new creation, a new creative miracle. A complete and a full release of the fullness of Almighty God in creative miracles, signs, and wonders. Oh, the portals are open. You know what the Lord said? He, uh, several days this week, I believe, since the middle part of the week, He said, Now tell the people, prophesy, behold, now the heavens are open over you. No, don't prepare for the disaster. Don't prepare for the disaster. Oh, no, don't prepare for the downturn. Prepare for the upturn. Glory to God. New things I declare before they happen. I tell you of them. Oh, even watch, 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 watch. Watch as new comes on to the horizon of your life. Watch is the creative. I'm prophesying now. I'm not preaching. I'm prophesying. Watch as new begins to come in and take over your life. Watch God who declared the end from the beginning. Bring you to the expected end this morning. Lord, I feel the anointing. I was trying to stay calm this morning. But boy, I feel the word of his power. All things are upheld. Ha, 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 all things are upheld by the word of his power, all things, he's upholding you by the word of his creative power, his creative power, it resides on the inside of you, it's right there in your tongue, it's right there in your tongue, it's it's right there in your tongue. The word of his power, the creative anointing is right there in your tongue. For behold, death and life are in the power of the tongue. You're a speaking spirit. You are a creative agent of change in the earth. You can create wealth. You can create health. You can create mashokaya new scenarios of things happening, new situations. You can create the right circumstances and conditions of life all around you. Oh, Lord, I feel the glory. It's all I can do. <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> I'm trying to keep from just going whack-a-mole right now in the Holy Ghost. I tell you, I feel the inebriating power of the Spirit upon me this morning. Hallelujah. If you can laugh, laugh right now. Laugh in the spirit. <laughs> Just laugh. I need somebody to get drunk for me in the spirit this morning because I'm trying to maintain my focus and maintain myself to give you the word of the Lord. In fact, it is falling. It is falling. It's falling on you right now. It's being poured out on you right now. Mimi, I want you to receive it. Woo! We <laughs> yield to the Holy Ghost this morning. Yield to the Spirit of God this morning. Yield to the moving of the glory of the Lord. Woo! I feel a finished work hitting somebody on something right now. Hallelujah. All your debts are canceled. All your needs are met in abundance. Hallelujah. And overflow. All your increase. Hallelujah. Is opened up and flowing because your head is anointed with oil. Let him I shun die. Look out on and descend in him and oh, Rabakashaya. Oh, Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I bless your name. It's hard for me to go on. I'm trying to get it together, y'all. Under the Sikai. Lebrito Rabasaya. May all that's falling fresh on me fall fresh on you right now. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let your glory fall. I know we sing let it rise, but sometimes it needs to fall and rise at the same time. When it falls, it's covering you for saturation. When it rises, it's coming forth out of you for manifestation. Let on cool Sunday. We are receiving a saturation <laughs> upon us this morning for it to come through us in manifestation. What's falling on you in saturation will come through you in manifestation. Hallelujah. Bonnie, could you type that in the comments for me on the Instagram? Hallelujah. What's falling on you, what's falling on me in saturation is coming through me in manifestation. Could I get someone, uh, you know, who could type fast and type who well to type it in on the multi-stream for me on Facebook? Hallelujah. Uh, those of you that are on YouTube, uh, type it in over there for me. Let up to the manjura What's falling on us in saturation is going to flow through us in manifestation. Oh, What's falling on me in saturation is coming through me in manifestation. Hallelujah. Get as close to it as you can. But everybody type it in. There's something happening on this live right now. And this is the manner of the release. This is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth all against his neighbor shall release it. Hallelujah. Everybody that owes you will owe you no more. And everybody you owe, well, you won't owe them no more. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother because it is called the Lord's release. If you were to look this particular verse up in the Bible, in the message Bible, let me tell you what it says. It says all debts canceled. Uh, uh, all debts canceled. God says so. All debts canceled. God says so. I feel the anointing, my God. All debts are canceled. God says so. Somebody type it in. This is a word of release this morning. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 All debts canceled. God says so. Oh, oh, my, 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 my. Uh, Pastor Cynthia says that she's got flutters going on inside of her. What is that movement of the Holy Ghost? <clears throat> it's prophetic signs and symbols of the moving, of the stirring of the waters, of the moving of the Holy Spirit. Let all debts cancel. God says so. Oh my Lord, I'm going to take a drink and keep moving here, okay?
Oh my my, Shamamaya. You see, this is not the way I thought I was going this morning. This is the way of the Spirit. We must always go with the way of the Spirit. Jesus, I bless you this morning. Jesus, I bless you this morning. <coughs> this is the song of release. This is the song of deliverance. You see, he rejoices over us with songs of deliverance. This is a deliverance day. This is a release day. This is a jubilee day. I, I have to flow with the Holy Ghost here. I will not turn to the right. I will not turn to the left. I will just yield to the Spirit of God this morning. And I have noticed that people have started to sow at this time because of the fertile anointing. And it's a great time for you to sow. But I do want you to remember, don't sow to the ministry cash app just yet, okay? We don't have everything, um, uh, you know, set yet on that. But so if you're going to sow, sow to PayPal, sow to Givelify, which is all you can go to the website there. And I don't want to interrupt this flow. But just to make sure that as you sow, in case you're someone who doesn't know, we are having to update things with Cash App with the ministry. The personal Cash Apps are fine. Dollar sign Janet German, dollar sign Katie German, those Cash Apps are fine. But the business slash ministry Cash App, which is dollar sign Janet German, M-I-N, don't sow to that one at this time. But you have so many other options that you can use to sow. So I want to get that out there while the Spirit of God is moving because people are beginning to get their seed in you, you know you have to recognize the signals of the spirit okay all right so deuteronomy 28 and 12 this came up in my spirit as we were under that saturation just a moment ago okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to read uh okay right, let me give you verse 12 first and the lord shall open unto you his good treasure the heavens oh here we go this is why the heavens to give the rain that's the release the rain of your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands and you shall lend to many nations and you shall not borrow now y'all have to understand this was not my message at all when i came in on this live i was going to totally different scriptures over in the book of genesis and when i got on the holy spirit began to move and speak to me so i'm going to pull this up in the um in the message bible in deuteronomy uh Urabakaya, Sundarabakaya, chapter 28 uh in the message bible and i'm just going to give you these verses right here that the lord said to give you deuteronomy 28 and verse 12. now you have to understand in the message bible they group scriptures to scriptures uh together and so they kind of run over into one another all right Okay, here we go. In Deuteronomy, so it's going to group 11 through 14 together. So I'll read that in its entirety, which I gave y'all just, <coughs> excuse me, the latter part of this week. God will lavish you with good things, children from your womb, offspring from your animals, and crops from your land. The land that God promised your ancestors that he would give you. All right, now watch this. Here's verse 12 in the message. Uh, I, I know it by the ending of, of the last verse. God will throw open the doors of his scaffolds. In other words, the portals are open. Everybody type that in. The portals are open. All right. I want you, in fact, I want you to type it like this. The portals of increase are open. God will throw open the doors of his sky vaults and pour rain on your land on schedule and bless the work you take in hand. You will lend to many nations, but you yourself won't have to take out a loan. There is a release of completed work concerning increase today. I had no clue this is the way I was going. See, we're going to learn in these days that we're living in now that we are we will speak by the Spirit. We will flow in the moment. What kind of moment? The Kairos moment. The God 
opportune moment. All right. And and what is what what Buddha that I show you? Kairos is the time when God acts in purpose and plan and releases increase to your land. Mm. That was a prophetic revelation the Lord gave me several years ago. He said, Kairos time is when God acts, the time when God acts in purpose and plan and, and releases increase into your land. Man, oh man, oh man. Something's coming through the portals today. Something is coming through the, the portals of increase are open. I believe these are multiple portals, okay? We know the portals from heaven. Hallelujah. A portal is a door. That's that's some of the meaning of the number four in the Hebrew. Prophetically, is it, it represents door. What kind of door? The door of more. God spoke through us on Friday, and we ministered on door, uh, doors, doors, and more doors of favor, are open okay so all of this goes together why because favor is direct reference to rain the the former and the latter rain it, it really gives reference to the latter rain coming down which the latter rain is causing the swelling of the grain to the to the production of the harvest and the lord wants you to understand that in kairos your your increase is released right on time right on it's right on schedule it's right on schedule it's right on schedule see this is why you need oh my mama this is why it you you are very blessed to be up and on this live this morning everybody should be up and awake by now this hour of the day unless you're in a like prophet jennifer it's it's uh it's it's only like um Let's see, six something there. When we came on, it was five something. Okay? So, I mean, she's just over 6 a.m. We have other people that are even, early, uh, you know, a little bit later than that, like it's 7 a.m. there. In order to reap the harvest, you're going to have to be awake. In order even for the word seed to get inside of you, you're going to have to be awake. Awake, <clears throat> awake, and arise and shine, for the light has come, the illumination on the release. It's going forth out of the mouths, mouths of the prophets. Whew, God, I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Selena said she was trying to get an early start before we even came on. <clears throat> She's used to those uh, weekday mornings. Let me take a drink. So God has thrown open the doors of his sky vaults <clears throat> and is pouring rain on your land on schedule. It's Kairos. And he's empowering to succeed, Lord God Almighty, the works of your hands. The works, everything that you've been putting your hand to by the leading of the Lord, by the will of the Lord, it is blessed and empowered to prosper. He's right on schedule, and you're right on schedule. You're right in place. You're right in position. You're right where you need to be when you need to be there to, to be on God. I'm on Shia, the receiving end and the reaping end. I'm going to go to Proverbs 16 and 15. I actually quoted this verse the other day. I do believe if I remember right. But I'm going to read it to you this morning. In Proverbs 16 and 15, in the light of the king's countenance is life. His favor is as the cloud, as a cloud of latter rain. In light of the king's, I'm reading this in the Amplified, in light of the king's countenance is life. 
His favor is as a cloud that is bringing spring rain. Y'all, we are in springtime right now. That is no coincidence in the natural, no more than it's a coincidence in the spirit. Springtime is when we spring forward in time. That's Kairos. Kairos is now moments. It's eternity coming into the now. The infinite, inexhaustible, unending, perpetual time and move of God coming into the now time of your chronological time ordered life. Oh my God. It's where they have a collision in the best possible way, be a blessing. And it causes you to run right upon what God had for you to be manifested in fullness and completion in the earth realm. Lord, I tell you, I, I man, my God, I feel the, uh, the glory of the Lord here this morning. Hallelujah. Let me get to something here. Venable cool shandai. See, I didn't know these. this was the direction that the Lord was taking me. So I didn't have it all pulled up and, and uh, you know, ready. So, so just give me just a moment. I'm trying to do something one-handed here, but it's okay. I got this. Somebody say, Apostles got it this morning. Y'all type that in. <laughs> Light it up and say, Apostles got it this morning. Now, this is so good. Get this thing loaded here. Hmm. I want you to listen to this verse. <laughs> I want you to listen to this verse that I just read you and quoted to you, Proverbs 16 and 15, because if this if this word describes me, if there is any word that could describe me, I believe this word describes me and who I am in the kingdom of God. And then I'm going to take you to another verse that will say the same, show you the same thing. Because you need to understand that... Um, <clears throat> the former and the latter rain, or the latter rain, is equal to favor, to the favor of God. Uh, you know, because we're in the time where he said uh, that the free favors of God profusely uh, abound, okay? He causes that rain to come down. When it starts raining spiritually and even naturally, what does it cause? It causes increase. It causes favor. Now, the blessing on your life is the empowerment to succeed. But favor opens up the portals or doors of opportunity that bring that thing to pass, that make it happen. Okay? So, when we come into these now moments of God... Now time, now season, now moments, Kairos moments. The time, it's the God opportune moment of your life. It, it doesn't just hit the spirit. It's not just the spiritual time and the spiritual calendar, but it also hits the calendar and the time of the earth. The It begins to hit you physically. It begins to hit your physical life, your natural life, because he bestows all things on us that pertains to uh, life and godliness. Life is going to handle my life in this natural, but godliness is going to take care of the spiritual. So I've got the spiritual and the natural. And really, when these two become one in the union of Christ, you really can't separate one from the other. Whew. So if your spiritual life is being blessed, so is your natural life. It causes favor. It causes opportunities to come upon you. It opens up favor, opens opportunity to, to complete what God and fulfill what God has said. Hallelujah. That he will do by the endowment of the blessing power on our life. We are empowered to succeed. We are empowered to prosper. We are empowered to increase, not decrease, increase. Your worth, your value, your assets, all of that, your bank accounts, you know, your mind account, your love tank, all your tanks, cupboards, containers, uh, vats, and, and all of these things. 
They should be perpetually be replenished, renewed, and filled to an overflow. They should be continually increasing, going up, 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 going out farther. Uh, uh, you know, just increasing left and right, in and out, up and down, all around. Because you are shielded around completely with the favor of God. The favor of God is an encompassing shield about your life surrounded with it you can't help but increase and prosper because that blessing is on you but you've got to know it you've got to be assured of it it's there but you gotta know it and not waver in that mm, mm -mm. now proverbs 15 16 in the message bible reads like this Good-tempered leaders invigorate lives. They're like spring rain and sunshine. Years ago, the Lord spoke to me. I had just finished a meeting. I had gone to the restroom and came out. Was uh, When you came out of the stalls in their restroom, they had mirrors down the side of the wall. And when I came out to wash my hands there, I looked up in that mirror and I heard the Lord say, from this time forward, he said, you and your ministry will be like a breath of fresh air everywhere you go to everybody you minister to, to everybody that you touch. He said, your ministry will be, I'm going to use you and you and your ministry is going to be like a breath of fresh air. Is this not this word right here? Is this not this word? It is like rain, fresh air, refreshing, invigorating, rejuvenating, uh, re-energizing. It's a, Carol is saying it's exactly what it's been to me. Carol says this is exactly what this ministry has meant to her life and been to her life personally. It's like a breath of fresh air. You know, that fresh rain is still falling in here. That fresh wind is still blowing. That fresh breath, that freshness of air, that ruach is being breathed out of my mouth this morning by the word of the Lord. And the rain is coming down to saturate you. Hallelujah. What it, ooh, the, the, the glory that's falling, the rain that's falling is uh, for saturation. Hallelujah. Falling on you for saturation is now going to flow through you for manifestation. Glory to God, prophet Jennifer. Be blessed. Go increase. Go increase. All right. Now, y'all got just a couple more moments. Um, I, I know I'll have to close for Dominion TV here in just a few minutes. So I want to stay on track. Watch them. Life in the Passion Bible, Proverbs 16 and 15 says, Life-giving light streams from the presence of a king. Life-giving light streams from the presence of a king. Now, I know I'm a king. The Bible says we're kings and priests unto God. You're kings and priests too. You have kingly authority and you have priestly anointing. My God in heaven. So life giving light, light and life, light and life to all he brings, risen with healings in his wings. Glory to the newborn king. That's heart the herald angels sing. So light and life. Not just life, but light and life. Angela says she smells the rain. That's awesome. I smell, I tell you, I smell stuff a lot. I smell rain sometimes. I smell release. I smell deliverance sometimes. I smell, sometimes I can get the smell of money in my nostrils. And I won't even be touching money. I can smell a uh, favor. I can get up knowing. I sense it. I sense it in the atmosphere. 
So life giving light streams from the presence of a king and his favor is showered upon those who please him. Favor is being showered on you because the king is pleased with you. The king of kings. See, this don't just make reference to a, a general human being king. This is a spiritual verse here. It's not just a natural verse. This is a spiritual verse here. This is why I don't worry about nothing. You can't worry about anything. The Bible says, don't worry about anything. Be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplication with all thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the God of peace that passes all understanding will mount and garrison upon your hearts through Christ Jesus. Your hearts and your minds. Because favor is showered upon those who please the king. What pleases the king? Faith. Faith and expectation. That is the point of contact. That releases a quickening that produces suddenly and immediately. So when you, when your eyes and your faith and everything about you is on the king of kings and the Lord of lords of Christ, the Lord, the anointed one and his anointing, you know, and you, you're, you're empowered with the blessing. You're empowered with the blessing. You're empowered to succeed. The blessing is on you. That produces the blessings. Don't ever get that twisted. It's not the blessings that make you blessed. It's the blessing, the uh, divine ability, the enablement of God's grace and favor on your life. God's divine ability on you that produces the blessings. All blessings come out of the blessing. Yes, Lord, thank you for showers of favor, showers of blessing. You've heard the term April showers bring May flowers. Not this month, not for you kingdom believers. April showers is also bringing, the April, bringing April flowers. In other words, April broshoda, rain and favor, is bringing divine manifestation of the blessing and of the rain and the showers of the favor in your life in April. And it will in May and June and July and every other month of the year. Because the eyes of the Lord are upon your land from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. So don't tell me this, my God, that God won't do it all year long. Yes, he will. He crowns the entire year with his favor, with his bounty, with his abundance. He crowns it. And his chariot wheels drop down. His chariot wheels drop down blessing. Even clothes the fields. And until everything begins to rejoice in your land, responds by rejoicing because the increase is there and it's being manifested. Oh, my Lord. Now I'm going to Proverbs 11, 24 and 25, and I'm going to bring this to a close. Generosity brings prosperity, but withholding from charity brings poverty. Those who live to bless others will have blessings heaped upon them, and the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated or satiated with favor. Y'all, you have to admit, that means your life is under an open heaven. Your life is under open portals. You're standing there vertically and receiving from the portals of heaven into the earth. You, the endowment, you are blessed and highly favored. You are endued with uh, the ability to succeed. You're so empowered to succeed. God spoke that as a benediction over your life, or he declared it an ending before your life ever begun. And now he says, all those things, all those things, even what he promised to do for your ancestors is coming through on you. I need some people to get up and shout this morning because, whoo, if you only could see how powerful this word is and understand what is happening for you today. Those who live to bless others will have blessings heaped upon them. And the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated with favor. Now, if that's you, I'm challenging you to throw up the, um, the hand emoji. 
And if you if you don't have that option, type in, well, that's me. Because I, I uh, oh, no, 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 so, hallelujah, I live my life to be a blessing. That's me. I'm telling you. I pour out my life every day to be a blessing, to be a blessing, to be a blessing, to be a blessing. That's me. I pour my life out. To, that's me, Roxanne. That's you. That's you, Saitha. That's you, Chandra. That's you, Penny. That's you. That's you, Mimi. That's you, Carol. That's you, Pastor Cynthia. That's you, Penny. That's you, Linda Ann. It's you, Rita. It's you, Becky. It's you, be a blessing. It's you, Bonnie. It's you, Angela. It's you, Candace. Woo! Rosalind, Dale Felix, that's you. That's you, Vanessa Goodson. Girl, I know that's you. I know that's you. I know that's you, Kiara. I know that's you, Tammy Forrester. You're my blood sister. I know that's you. Woo! Hey, Victoria, girl, I know that's you. You live your life. I do. I Every day I get up to pour my life out onto the lives of others. Marita, Marita. I like to put that rolling R in your name. <laughs> Marita. <laughs> no, that's probably not how to do it, but God just got to do it. Vicki, that's you. That's you, Keisha J. That's you, Selena Ray. Look at there. I'm a poet and don't know it, right? <laughs> That's you. That's me. Man, you got to shout that out. You got to know. You know what? I'm getting up today. I'm living my life to be a blessing to somebody. I'm going to pour out on somebody. And I mean, I pour out with the full intent to saturate every single one of y'all every, every day on these lives. Y'all know it's the truth. I mean, just pour it out. And because you do it, the one, the one who... Those who live to bless others will have blessings heaped upon them. And the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated with favor. Lord, have mercy. God's throwing open them sky balls and just pouring down on your land right now. Every single one of you. Every single one. Lily, that's you too. That's you. Oh, glory to God. Do you feel the rain? There's an old, old uh, church chorus that we pull it out every now and again and sing it again. And it says, I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. Well, it's the former and the latter rain together. And I'm not talking about the weather. It's the Holy Ghost rain and it's falling down on me. That's, that's us. The Holy rain, the Holy Ghost rain is falling down on us. For what? For increase. For increase. For all deaths canceled. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. Well, it's the former and the latter rain together. And I'm not talking about the weather. It's the Holy Ghost rain and it's falling down on me. Now, guess what happens when the Holy Ghost rain the former and the latter rain comes together. I'll close with this last verse and tell you, because I got to get off, I got to get off of here, but I got to do this real quick. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel it falling down on me. Well, it's the former and the latter rain together. And I'm not talking about the weather. It's the Holy Ghost rain and it's falling down on me. See, that's what's been happening in this live all the entire time we've been on here. But Joel ch chapter 2 says this, verse number 23. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you <laughs> woo, the former rain moderately. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was moderate, but it was still raining, right? But something shifts. But he says, and he will cause to come down for you 
the, the rain, the former and the latter come together. There's the double blessing. There's the double blessing of favor, the double blessing of recompense, the double blessing of increase coming on you right now. Be ye saturated with the increase of God right now. I prophesy that over everybody under the sound of my voice. I decree and declare right now. You are under the open heaven. Behold, now the heavens are open over you. They are pouring down favor, former and latter rain coming together and increase hits you on every side hallelujah, and literally saturates you in Jesus' mighty name. Y'all better look out, because why? Because the floors will now be full of wheat, and the vats overflow with wine and oil, and God will restore the years, the, the, the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied or satiated, complete and fulfilled, Woo! Glory to God. And praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. My people shall never, 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 never another day in your life shall you be ashamed. Dominion TV, we bless you this morning and we thank you for streaming us live and we send this entire prophetic release out to the entire a team of Dominion over there on the network this morning and all of the viewers who are tuned in. Remember, you can stay tuned with us and connected with us. Go to our website at JanetGermanMinistries.com and you can find out all you need to know on how you can connect with us and be a part of this ministry. Oh, let us hear from you. Send us a, a message through our Contact Us page. Amen. You can sow, you can give, you can send your prayer needs in, whatever you want to do. But thank you, Dominion team. TV for being a part of our streaming live this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, y'all, I want to give y'all this prophetic word for April, and then we're going to uh, receive uh, uh, increase this morning as you sow, hallelujah, by the Spirit of the Lord. I'm going to put the banner up this morning for you to sow into the kingdom of God, or if you desire to sow a personal seed, amen, you can do that as well, so I'll go over those with you in a moment, but for those of you who have not maybe seen uh, the prophetic word, we have it on all of our pages, we've got it on YouTube, we have it on, uh, my, it's on my personal page, Janet German, it's also on our ministry page, Prophet, uh, excuse me, Janet German Ministries, it's also over on Instagram, I believe, and you can find it there, probably there in the stories, uh, I imagine, so anyway, way um i want to give this to you all again because i want to i believe the holy spirit wants me to keep this fresh in the mind and hearts of god's people all month long so i'll be giving this as often as he says to give it but the prophecy the lord gave me on april 1st was this and i posted it late that night and then we got on the next morning and began to kind of unfold it. And it's still unfolding as the month goes by. April will be a month of supernatural landslides. See all that saturation taking place? That's what's going to make happen. Landslides. Avalanches. Man, that, that means a massive coverage. A massive coverage. It's going to cover so everything. And it's going to cover it in overflow. It's going beyond the current parameters and boundaries and things like that. Uh, you know, it's uh, beyond, you know, over and above and beyond uh, what you imagine or dream, all of those things. But April will be a month of supernatural landslides. Massive movement of overwhelming victories will rise rapidly and overtake you with miracle manifestations. Heavenly portals are open and freely flowing. I think that says it all. It's like a sum total of everything that's being broken down into various things, um, titles and releases that the Lord is doing. And man, oh man, I am so excited about this. Amen. Hallelujah. Supernatural landslides, massive movement of overwhelming victories will rise rapidly and overtake you with miracle manifestations and those heavenly portals are open and free open and freely flowing now i want us to really get started off right this week with this giving and sowing and so i want you um because um you are full of faith uh, you're connected with this ministry. You believe in this ministry. You know God's hand is on this ministry. Uh, this has been, this is, and continues to be a stores house, a resource spiritually by which you receive. I don't know. Maybe you've been watching this forever and have never sown a seed. 
Well, I don't understand that, but okay. All right, all right. I'll leave that right there. But I want all of you to get a seat in the ground, okay? No more than I would go into a restaurant and eat and not, you know, you know, you know. Amen. I would not keep coming on and not connecting with my seed because, you know, God ministers seed to the sower. You're never without a seed because God won't leave you without a seed. And if this ministry is really being a blessing, and it is proven to be a resource spiritually for you, you know, for your family. Uh, it may be your only spiritual storehouse that you're receiving from. I'm challenging you, if that's the case, to honor and to sow your tithe and give your offerings. Now, those of you that are part of local, you know, local ministries and that has you sow you 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 tithe and you sow into that ministry first but you can go in the overflow and you're sowing into uh, this ministry because it also is a resource and a storehouse into your life as well all right i don't think god gets mad at nobody sowing <laughs> into a fertile uh, ground ministry all right so if this ministry if this word has been a blessing to your life today then I want you to get a seed in the ground. You can go to JanetGermanMinistries.com. That is, uh, is our website. When you get on the website, you can go to the Sow a Seed page. All right. When you get on the Sow a Seed page, uh, you're going to see all those links for giving there for you. Amen. And um, the first one will say, the first link on the Sow a Seed page says, Sow a Seed. All right, to sow a seed. All right, that is through Givelify, which is a faith-based uh, service um, that we use for giving. And you don't have to have a PayPal or a Cash App account to sow there. You can just sow by debit or credit card. It's a great, very safe and secure way to sow. Um, you have the option there if you want to type a message in there. So maybe you want to allocate it a certain way, you know, or you may just want to, you know, put a message in there for us. So you want to say, you know, I want this to go to you personally, Apostle uh, Prophet Janet, or I want this to go personally to Katie. People do this all the time, and we always go back and check the notes, and we make sure that it gets uh, to where you want it to go, okay? I believe in doing that. All right. And uh, I, you know, um, glory to God. I want you to really just uh, focus on sowing your best seed today. Amen. All right. Your next link, there is going to be the PayPal link. You can click on it. It'll have you to log into your account. It also gives you a, num a note area there. If you want to designate your seed a certain way, just let us know and we will be sure to take care of that for you. All right. Then the next links that you're going to see are the cash app links. Right now, I want you to just go past the, the, the ministry cash app. Don't use that one just yet. We don't, we've sent in all of our forms and everything to get everything updated, but we've not gotten, everything's not complete yet. So I know we're going to have to get back on uh, the phone with them tomorrow and get this thing rolling here because it's just, it's really taking too much time for them to get that. But I know typically with it being that close to the weekend, it usually is one to three or sometimes five to seven business days, but I'm praying uh, for a resolve tomorrow to get that thing back up and running. Amen. All right. And then uh, we do have our personal cash apps. Now, don't, I do want y'all to keep in mind, not the ministry cash app was not compromised or hacked. That I want you to know. It was an update that we need. We had to update all of our credentials with them, so to speak. All right, uh, you know, as a business, it's a little different than just having a personal cash app. So you have to present, you know, uh, your forms and and uh, e, you know numbers and things like that that you have. You have to give your government information, your registered information, and all that stuff. Okay, but if you want to sew via the personal cash apps, they're perfectly fine. We've never had a problem with uh, cash app at all. I need you guys to understand that all right um we don't want you to to send it you you can actually send to the ministry but we can't get it we can't receive it it won't allow us to do it so i don't want your money sitting there in limbo something happened from that okay we, we we just can't receive it we can't cash it out so to speak so i don't want your stuff to get lost out there okay all right and i also don't want it to be um debited from your yeah debited from your account either okay so so um 
you know, and then we got to try to figure out how to get it back to you, okay? All right, so, um, you know, we're people of integrity here, so we like to take care of our business, right? All right, so the last uh, two uh, cash apps are my my personal cash app is dollar sign Janet German, and then Katie's cash app is dollar sign Katie, C-A-T-I-E German. So simple, so easy, y'all. Just go to the website, get on there. Some of you already have these things set up on your phones, so you can do them, and that's fine. Please, by all means, do that. Uh, if you have it maybe on your laptop or your um, iPad or something or just on your phone devices, we got, you know, we have the apps and we can just click on and go from there. But if you want, I, I tell you, easiest way, just hit that website, get on that SOAC page and it'll be right there for you. If you also prefer to mail your seed in via the postal service, you have that option there as well. And all you got to do is look further down under the cash apps, I believe is right where the, um, the mailing address is, and it's P.O. Box 1011. Once again, that is P.O. Box 1011, Bartow, B-A-R-T-O-W, Florida 33831. So whatever you do, give today, guys. So get these, um, you know, get these, get these um, seeds flowing. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to tell you, we have a nucleus of people that are faithful. I mean, they're just faithful. Every day, every day. Some people sow every day. I have people, we have people in this ministry that sow every day. We have people that sow every few days or every other day or once a week or once a month. Whatever that might look like for you, just do it. Okay, sometimes the Lord is calling for extra seeds. You know that? God will call for an extra. I know you may have it set up, well, I'm going to sow this much, you know, maybe in partnership, maybe 25 a month or 100 a month or whatever that is. Because you can even set that up on Givelify. You can set that up to, for reoccurring giving, and it'll just be, you know, you set your date and, and the amount and everything, and it'll come out at that time. But, you know, be open to the Spirit of God to speak to you at all times. To speak to you at all times. All right, I'm really encouraging you guys, okay? Because I want you guys to really get in this flow of sowing. Become an avid sower. I, I, I was up in the middle of the night, and, I, you know, I just decree and declare all the time. And I just reminded the Lord. I said, you know, my tithes are in the storehouse. My seed is in the ground. You know, and I'm listening, Lord. Do you, What else you want me to do? You know, it's not about just the do, but the obedience. you got to be willing and obedient. Then you eat the good of the land. And I'm telling you, you can get in a systematic flow that anytime God's giving you a signal, move on it. If it's in the middle of the broadcast, learn to be sensitive to the Spirit. You don't have to wait till the end. Just, you know, just keep the seed flowing. God's going to keep the harvest flowing. Your responsibility is to keep the seed flowing because that seed, it knows what to do and the soil that you put it into knows what to do. And if they're both fertile, you got good seed going into good soil, guess what? You got a great harvest coming. And I want you to understand you are in the Kairos moment of increase, really saturating your life. Such favor opening up to bring to pass and to fulfill what the blessing is on you for, empowered to succeed. Amen. So watch God and watch God move immediately, speedily. Move today. God's going to move for you today. Say that in the comments right now. God is moving for me today. God is moving for me today. I want you to say that. Type it in. Oh, yes, it has been. Hadn't it, Saith? is such a blessing and a refreshing today. All right. Some of y'all, you need to sow large. You don't just need to stay on low levels. Come on up. Take your faith up. I've been increasing for years. I'm just telling you because I just keep going up. I don't ever want my seed to go down less than. You know, you, no, don't ever cap yourself off. Don't limit yourself. God is not the God of limitation. God is the God of increased manifestation and saturation of abundant flow in your life. Lord, I feel, I just feel like God is, is, is moving on somebody and you'd be a little bit nervous about stepping out like this, but I want you to go ahead and do it. Don't be afraid. Uh, he'll never let you down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that step into that bigger seed sowing, step in, cross over those boundaries, move those boundary lines out of the way. See, Doggone it, I'm taking my seed level, sowing level up today. Hallelujah. And I know I'm 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 receiving in an up-leveled uh 
uh, dimension and place too in my receiving. Amen. Lord, I feel the anointing. There's people on here you need to sow a hundred dollars, but there's people on here need to sow a thousand dollars. Some of you it may be more, some of you it may be less. Maybe a leap of faith is 25 bucks for you. I don't know. I'm not trying trying to twist you, make you give out of necessity, compulsion, or give work you up emotionally. No, hear from the spirit realm. Hear from your spirit. Hear from your spirit. My daughter was sharing with me yesterday. I'm going to say this quickly. I won't say what the situation is. But there was a decision she was needing to, to make, you know, that pertained to Zariah. And, and uh, you know, and weighing out things, weighing out things on a decision with Zariah. And 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 she, and, and oh my God, Ola Bashakataya, Lorobo Shada Bahaya. And, and 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 the Lord, she said, I heard this come up in my spirit, Mom. She said it came up and tears came in her eyes. And she said, the Lord said, don't take that away from her. Don't take that away from her. Oh, my word. And I felt it when she released it, you know. Uh, you know, if you're going to be persuaded, be persuaded by the Holy Ghost. You can't be persuaded sometimes by your own mind or other people's minds or even other people's words, their thoughts. Bonnie, I'm telling you, the Lord told her. She said, Mom, it came up. She said, it didn't come out of here, out of my head. She said, I felt it come up out of my spirit when she said it came up from here. And she began to say uh, what the Lord said. She began to, tears, you know, came to her eyes and her little voice began to break. She said, the Lord said, God said, don't take that away from her. Don't take that away from her. You know, I feel like that's for some of y'all this morning. I really do. And I want you to know something. Anytime that you are not really obeying the Lord with what he's telling you to do, do you know you're, you, you, you're taking something away from yourself? Don't take that away from yourself. Don't rob yourself. You know the Lord's not going to rob you. Don't let thoughts in your mind rob you, even with your giving. Don't let, let the opinions of man or the pressure of your bills or, or the pressure of the workforce and how much your paycheck is. No, 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 no. It don't matter. It don't matter what that says. Uh, El Shaddai is more than enough, the many-breasted one, and he will give you more than enough. I'm telling you, the persuasion has to be from the Lord and not from others. So, and that means it's going to be pressure-free. And when you move on what he tells you to do, I guarantee you the increase is coming on you in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, have mercy. I got to get off of here. I love y'all so much, and I thank God for you. So I want y'all to get that seed in the ground now. Don't y'all don't y'all let this moment pass you by. Hallelujah. Don't let it pass you by. Because anytime you let an opportunity to sow and to give into uh, a, 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 a moment that God is pre presenting to you to do that, uh, you know, um, you're, you're, you're going to cause yourself to miss out on a harvest. But if you will take that opportunity and go with it, I promise you the open portals of increase, they're over you right now. And God is going to pour out more than you have opportunity, have a room to receive in Jesus mighty name. Amen. I love you guys. And we will be back on tomorrow morning and Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern. I need one last thing. Everybody who did not hit the share button, hit it right now. Hit it right now. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it before I click the end stream. Okay. Go right ahead and hit your share button. Share to your stories and your pages if you're on Facebook. All right. And then Instagrammers, please remember once you're off to share to your stories once the uh, broadcast is ended. Thank you all so much. Thank you for always being such an amazing group of people. I love you with every fiber of my being. I'm praying, decreeing, and declaring. Amen. This increased saturation is over your life today. Don't you, woo, don't you forget it, honey. Everything's coming in right on schedule. And today is on schedule. Today is on schedule. Today has been inked in on God's schedule time calendar and your scheduled time calendar and they're coming together former latter rain and your threshing floor shall be full of wheat and overflowing with wine and with oil so get ready for it I love you guys and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning bye bye everybody